Hello and welcome to Construction Law Malaysia YouTube channel where you spend one minute of your time to learn one aspect of construction law. Today, I would like to raise the issue of res judicata in SIPA claims. And you see, for every payment certificate that is not paid or even not certified, the contractor is entitled to mount a SIPA claim. So if a contractor has mounted a claim for, let's say, certificate number 10, which involves works up to, say, uh, the fifth floor, then can the contractor then at certificate number 15 mount another SIPA claim if he is unpaid? Yes, he can. However, how about the parts of works up to the fifth floor which was already adjudicated under a previous certificate? Can he try his luck again if let's say he was denied the first time around by an adjudicator? This issue came before the courts in a case called Samsung CNT versus Bauer where the court said that where there were works under a previous certificate that had already been adjudicated, then the contractor is not entitled to remount an adjudication under a subsequent certificate involving the exact same works. In other words, res judicata does apply it within uh, adjudication claims and this would be a possible new defense for respondents for if you are the receiving end, you are at the receiving end of a SIPA claim. This has been your one minute in construction law. Um, I wish you all the best for the new year. If you have any questions or queries, send me an email at kinghu at kinghu.com. Until next year, see you.